a visual mishap during a presidential speech and now someone's fired. Mm -hmm. Take a good look at the presidential seal in this photo behind President Trump. It has a two headed eagle. That's pretty similar to the state seal of the Russian Federation. You'll also note that the eagle is clutching not arrows, but golf clubs in its talons. And then also there, a sickle, if you look closely. That is clearly not the official United States presidential seal, but it briefly showed up behind President Trump on Tuesday. This was as he was addressing the conservative student group Turning Point USA. Now, the group insists there was zero malicious intent here, but as we pointed out, at least one person lost their job. CNN White House reporter Sarah Westwood joining me now with more. Uh, so who was it who got in trouble? Was this a student? Was it an adult? Well, Erica, Turning Point USA, this conservative group is saying this was an audiovisual aide who was let go in the wake of what they are describing as an honest mistake. So here's what a source familiar with the events told our colleague Betsy Klein about what they say happened. They say originally the group planned to have its own branding on the screens that were supposed to flank President Trump on that stage here in Washington. But during a run through a few hours before the event, the organizers were told that those screens actually had to display a picture of the presidential seal. So this AV aide who has since been fired from the organization performed a Google search trying to find a high resolution image of the presidential seal. And because of the pressure of the deadline, the event being just a few hours away, the source says the aide selected an image that he did not realize was, was actually a parody, had that double headed eagle associated with the Russian state seal. Also, that eagle was holding golf clubs. Now, the White House is pointing its finger at Turning Point USA for this mistake, saying they had nothing to do with it. But another source familiar tells CNN that this is also the fault of the White House advance team. Those advanced staffers should have either provided the organization with the picture of the seal that they wanted to be used, or at the very least should have approved what was put on the screen beside the president. But Erica, it appears that did not happen in this case.